Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. place. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Viewers, welcome back this morning to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. We're still coming to you live here from the third floor, Port Mall, Lower Scarborough, Tobago. This morning, we are chatting with our guest, Nicole Thomas, who is a labor inspector, too, attached to the Ministry of Labor. And this morning, viewers, the focus is on the role of the Labor Inspectorate Unit. Uh, Nicole Thomas, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Let, let me ask you, how long have you been doing this, this, this job? How long have you been functioning, func functioning in this role? Um... Give or take about eight years, eight years, possibly. Yeah. And how would you rate it on the scale of one to ten? How would you rate it? Definitely a ten. <laughs> I love that. She said definitely, definitely a ten. Um, let's get right into things, uh, if we may. Uh, we're talking this morning about the uh, Labor Inspectorate Unit. How long has this unit been in existence? Um, we have been in existence. Uh, I can definitely say more than 15 years than 15. in the capacity in the Labor Inspectorate Unit. Mm -hmm. We are an enforcement arm in the Ministry of Labor, and what we are responsible for is ensuring both employers and employees are aware of their rights and responsibilities. And we would do so by engaging in investigation of complaints as well as conducting routine investigations in accordance with legislation such as the Minimum Wage Act, the Minimum Wage Order, the Maternity Protection Act, as well as Part 14 of the Children's Act. Okay. And in these act, it will include, but not limited to, ensuring persons receive their proper wages, overtime rates when applicable, as well as benefits such as vacation leave, sick leave, and maternity leave. All right. Now, do these laws or do these regulations differ according to pr private sector, public sector? Well, in the public sector, we utilize the Civil Servants Act as well as um, different terms and conditions. Whereas in the private sector, the legislation would be more applicable. Apart from maternity, maternity will be across the board. Okay. So what are the laws regarding record keeping for employees and how is this linked to inspections? Employers are obligated to maintain records. Now, for minimum wage employees, they are entitled to, they are obligated, sorry, to maintain records for a period of three years. Mm -hmm. For pregnant employees, it's a period of five years. Also, employers who employ persons who are of the age of 16 to 18, they are also required to maintain records. In these records, you're supposed to have the person's name, their date of birth, as well as an address. How this is linked to investigations, the Labor Inspectorate have powers in order to enter a premises. Um, we can do so at reasonable time, with or without notice. And upon entry, we would be required to inspect wages records. These rec wages records could stem from pay slips to time cards, attendance records. So when we inspect these things, it's to ensure that employees are getting their proper wages, they are getting their overtime, and employers are doing what they need to do in accordance with the law. Is, isn't key, isn't, uh, isn't, sorry, isn't employing individuals between the ages of 16 and 18 against the law? It is not against the law. No, the legal age to be employed in Trinidad and Tobago is 16 years. So no one below the age of 16 should be employed. And if found to be so, there are charges and fines that can be laid. For the employer, it is $25,000. The parent of the child could also be fined $5,000. And if the employer does not keep the young person register, which I would have mentioned before, mm -hmm. it's a fine of $20,000. OK, who is a minim minimum wage worker? And what is the national minimum wage range? The national minimum wage as of right now is $17.50. Um, a minimum wage worker is somebody who would be receiving $17.50 per hour. And there is a range that goes to the ceiling of $26.25. So once you fall within that range, you would be considered a minimum wage worker. And who is entitled to pay overtime? Persons who would fall within that range. 
So once you're receiving 1750, which is the minimum wage, and the ceiling of 2625, you would be entitled to overtime. Now, overtime would come in within an eight hour day or a 40 hour week. Also, persons who work on public holidays, for example, or if you are working on your off day, you would also be entitled to double time. And these rates could range from um, a flat rate of eight hours and overtime will be incurred after that eight hours. So the next four hours would be time and a half, the next four hours would be double, and the after would be triple. For a public holiday, however, or an off day, you would be entitled to double time for the first eight hours and triple time thereafter. Okay, let's talk about maternity leave. Who is eligible for maternity leave? That's a good question. All persons, all pregnant female employees are entitled to maternity leave. Now, maternity leave does not have a range as would be for overtime or public holidays. It's across the board. So, as I said before, all pregnant female employees would be entitled. What would differentiate with the payment and the non-payment is that a person has to work 12 months continuous with the same employer to be entitled to paid maternity leave. The employer would have to pay one month full pay and two months half pay to that um, pregnant individual. Now, if the person does not make the 12 months, it's not to say that they're not entitled to the maternity leave, but it would be without pay. And also it's good to note that the maternity payments are due one payment in every 24 month period. Okay, is there such a thing as paternity leave? In Trinidad and Tobago, in legislation, unfortunately, no, not right now. However, there are some companies that would include it in their policy. So they may grant two to three days paternity leave. Two to three days? Two to three days? Within the policy, because unfortunately, as of right now, there's nothing that is legislated for paternity leave. So we've got some changes to make. We've got to make some changes here, definitely. Um, and who pays the worker for maternity leave? The employer um, is obligated to pay once the employee would have made the time of the 12 months continuous. One month full pay, two months half pay. However, the National Insurance yeah. Board also provides a benefit. They provide a, a baby grant as well as they provide additional payments. However, for further information on that, I would suggest that persons visit the National Insurance Board or visit their website. Okay. How can persons identify child labor and where can reports be made? Now, essentially, child labor is basically when you deprive a child of their childhood, their dignity, their ability to go out and play and basically be a child. Now, Child Labor Day is celebrated internationally on the 12th of June of every year. And the Ministry of Labor engages in a lot of public awareness to ensure that persons are aware of what child labor is and try to eliminate it as best as possible. Now, some persons or even children may think that doing chores at home, helping around the yard is considered child labor, <laughs> but that is not so. You child need to labor. say that one more time. <laughs> Uh, these are basic chores, but they tend to believe that, oh my gosh, you're killing me here. Child labor, there must be a law against this. Yes, definitely not, because these things would be seen as helping towards the development of a child, um, getting them prepared for their adult life, basically. When it goes into child labor is when the person is not allowed to go to school, they're missing out on their education. It could be... Um, problematic to their health and well-being. Now, most commonly in Trinidad and Tobago, you may see instances of child labor with persons under the age of 16 who would be selling produce by on the highway, for yes, example. Yes, we see you that. may see them on the beaches. Um, so as I said before, child labor, um, there's a thin line between what is child labor and what is not. So as long as the person is not being able to go to school, get their education, et cetera, and they are in situations where it could be harmful to their health, if they're working in factories, their chemicals, mm -hmm. et cetera, these things are what is considered child labor. And where can, how, how and where can reports be made? 
Now the labor inspectorate unit, it can be made there. Um, we have the number 2990300, option three. This is the office in the north. And the south office, it's 2855133, option four. Additionally, reports can be made to the Children's Authority, um, 800-2014, and they could also report to Childline, which is 800-4321. And for persons who want to come in and chat with you, they've, they've got questions or concerns, where can they find you? The, let me just get the office. Okay. In Tobago, we have an office which is located in the TAM building in Glen Road, Scarborough. Mm -hmm. The contact number is 3870856. Unfortunately, there is not an officer located um, in that building. However, there is, as a person there, if it is that the person decides to come into the Tobago building, they would be able to provide the information and it would be referred to a labor inspector. Um, the Port of Spain office is located on Duke Street, Port of Spain in Trinidad, and the number is 2990300, option 3. And in San Fernando, it's on St. James Street, and the number is 2855133, option 4. Okay. Also, we have an email where persons may not be able to physically come in, but they can send an email with their contact information and an officer would reach out to them. Every day, somebody monitors the email. The email is labor.inspector at gov.tt. Got it. Could you repeat one more time? The, the email? Email. Right. So the email is labor.inspector at gov.tt. And also, I forgot to mention that the Ministry of Labor has their official websites where more information could be attained. It's www.labor.gov.tt. All right. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning, Nicole Thomas. All right. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And um, we trust that persons have got the information there. And viewers, you can also check back um, this. You can you review this program. Rather, you can review this program on our social media pages that we've got. Uh, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. So you can refer to this program for more information. Again, thank you for being with us. Thank we you. We want to thank all our viewers for joining us this morning. All our guests who took the time to be with us, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now we're going to call it a wrap for today. Um, we want to remind you viewers that coming up tomorrow, we've got our youth show on, all right? And it's Youth, youth Wednesdays. Uh, we've got GMT coming up next with our girl who is back with us finally, Chanel Felix. So stay tuned. Lots more coming up after this program. And viewers, have a great day. Over to GMT. Bye-bye.